Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> if I didn't come out here this morning, I would have been the most ungrateful person on earth. Okay. And honestly, my blessings have come from gratitude. Being thankful to God and being thankful to man, whom God uses to bless me. So I've come here to be grateful and to be blessed. Yeah. And as I will be blessed, all of us here will share in my blessing. Yeah. I want to tell you people something before I get into my testimony. I want you people to understand that the way you look at life will determine how life will look at you. And that the people and the things that will come to your life are the people and things that will be attracted by the way your life is. My first testimony is meeting Pastor here. He's what? Say first. first. So it looks like there are many. Praise my, God. My first. Okay. I'll, I will try to be very brief. Let's hear that. My first one is meeting Pastor. And in my life, honestly, I've met very good people. I'm sure it's because I'm a good person. <laughs> so, <laughs> come on, you should know this. I'm trying to say, I don't talk like this. Praise honestly, God. You, I like his declaration. You, you don't attract what you want. Yes. You attract what you are. What you are. Yes. If it's not within you, you will not find it. Yes. The people that you will meet in this life will mostly be the people who are like you, who think like you, who are birds of your self fear. Yes, and he is my, is my first testimony, honestly. Mm. Because I was, when I was, I was thinking of how to get a house where I could now start renting. And God brought me to his compound. Say his compound. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much. To his compound. Uh -huh. And my first <laughs> lesson, if you guys look at this picture, this is me. Wow. I didn't know this. This is a no, you know, I will remind you. <laughs> this has been me suffering from nerve issues. I want you to always pray that no matter what your difficulties are, they should not be health related. Because if they are, you will not do any other thing. I had suffered with this thing and I've gone to the hospital for three consecutive times and they have done everything. And when I come back, I will take medication, I will still go back. Nothing will happen. Then there was this day I decided to tell him, I called him. He did not call me to his place, he, called, he decided to come to my room. And I told him that this is what I was suffering from. Say good and love. <laughs> Double blessings. Uh -huh. And he prayed for me for like, I think it was like 10 seconds. From that prayer, I learned a lesson to face my problems calmly. Yes. Because he was calm in the prayer. <laughs> Honestly, from that day, I learned a very big lesson. Wow. I face my issues very calmly, and they get solved. Yes. He prayed for me, and since that day, I've never, it's, it's, it's close to a year. June will make it a year. That's next one. I've never taken anything to calm this down. In fact, it has never come. It has never come. It has never come to me to be seeking medical attention. And then there was a day that my friend came and visited me. She was in crutches because she had an accident. And for like three months, she wasn't able to move very well. So that day, I managed and brought her to the house. And pastor passed by my door and saw crutches. Asked me, that, why am I doing with crutches? I said, my friend is, is here. She is here. He said I should tell her to come out. She came outside by the door and he prayed for her. Still like 10 seconds. And from that day, she has never used those projects again. Glory to God. Wow. I mean, I, to be coming with you, is you can familiarize yourself with people in the compound over and over and uh, yeah. things like this will be happening and you won't notice. I'm very sensitive spiritually. Good luck. Good luck. Others come, I see issues, but God tells me this is not the time. These ones are busy with life. Let them be. 
Good plan, Lord, indeed. Wow. <laughs> and when I actually came there because of these health issues, I was thinking of how I could be able to manage myself. Because before I came, I had made some very terrible decisions in business and I was down and deep in debt. Within, it's not up to one year, I've been able to do a lot. I had a debt of more than two million pounds. And within this time, I paid it. I was able to save again and to God be the glory. Wow. <laughs> I have um, my, I don't know whether I should call it. My his office, office. My he set up his office, yeah. I have be my, proud. my real estate uh, office, office at Tavisi yeah. Junction here. Where I have been able to take some people one week to help a lot of people. And I hope that I will continue to help. You will flourish in Jesus' name. In other words, also, we have no 